Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. In today's video, we are going to take a look at how to create global parameters that can control global settings throughout our site. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, this is something that I have been using lately and has been super helpful and a huge time saver. So what do I mean by global parameters? Well, let's start by taking a look at our design here. First, I have three columns with some divs inside those columns, and I want these columns to have rounded edges. So I might come into the column here, I'd go into our border radius and I might add, let's do something extreme so we can really see it here. I might add two M's all the way around, which rounds out our nice little box there. And you know what? Let's just add a little bit of drop shadow here for effect, right? Something like this here looks pretty nice. Now, let's go ahead and copy that design and we can paste it on our new items here. But as soon as we move to a new page, we have to do this again. We could save it as a template or as a component and that's totally fine and I do think that makes sense and there are use cases for that. But a lot of times for things like border radius, you're applying that to all different types of elements, right? We might come up to our image here, we might click on our image and we want that to have two M's as well so that it completely rounds out the edges. And then what if we decide we want to change that border radius in the future and we want to take it down to one M or up to five M's or something like that, we'd have to go through every page of our site and update these numbers numbers here, which might not be bad, but is there a more optimal way to do it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to jump into our globals here. And with the globals tab selected, we are going to click on this little cog here to edit our parameters. And now while we're in our globals here, we are going to add curly brackets and then we'll type in border radius and then we'll add a colon and we'll open our brackets here and make this our label and we'll call this global radius. We'll add a comma here. We'll then go here and we'll add a field type and that field type is going to be size and we'll add a comma and we'll set our initial to zero. M's. And we should be good with that. So now let's jump over to our parameters here. And there we have our global radius and we have an M's setting there. So that's perfect. Now we just need to remember this part here. So border radius with a capital B and a capital R. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my clipboard. Now I'm going to jump into our page that we were designing. And in this column here, I'm going to go into column one. I'm going to scroll down to our border radius here and we can do it right in here. Or I'm going to use the command option B to go into breakout mode. And I'm going to type double curly DC for dynamic content, colon P for parameter, colon, and then border radius, double curly. And I'm going to go ahead and place that on all the items here. We could actually just link those together. Now that I have that copied to my clipboard, let's jump over here to column two and we'll do the same. Boom. And that's on all of those. And then column three and we'll do the same here. And now that's on all of those. And notice it just has sharp edges now. And you know what? We could even do this to our image here. We'll come into our border radius and add that global border radius here, which now gives us the sharp edges there as well. Now let's go ahead and save. Let's jump back over to our globals here and let's change this out to five M's. Now the page is going to refresh, but because this is a global change, we're going to want to save it and completely refresh our browser to see these changes applied. But these will now be global anywhere we have used that parameter throughout our site. So when we completely refresh the page and we go into our homepage here, you'll now see that our image has a border radius of five M's. And when we scroll down, our columns have that as well. And now any of the pages, we could have hundreds of pages here and any of those pages where we've leveraged this one parameter can now be controlled via this one global radius. So if we decide later on that we want to change everything to just a one M global radius, we simply change it once here. We make sure we save that change across the board and then we refresh the site and anywhere on our site that we have used that global parameter is going to reflect that new one M change in our border radius. You'll notice all of those have been updated. Now, this is just one example of using the global parameters to control custom designs throughout your site. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.